Good morning, it is Wednesday. Time for our body weight exercises. This is Penny with the Silver and Fit program, our Fit at Home series, 30 minutes. You can do it. Make sure that you have a nice, clear space to do your exercises in. Also, you'll want some support. I have a sturdy chair. It could be your couch, a countertop, even a wall. Today, we are gonna be utilizing a towel. So just grab a hand towel, a kitchen towel, clean, <laughs> of course, um, any kind of towel will work, and that's gonna provide some extra dynamic tension for our midsection and our upper body. And, of course, Agua, get that water. Midweek, let's get moving and get this done. Remember, you can always take breaks, do five minutes, 10 minutes, do what is best for your body. No one else's, we're all built different, we all move different. Okay, I'm ready to work out, are you? Yes, right, always yes. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the music up just a bit and we are gonna get warmed up for 30 minutes of our body weight exercises. Okay, I'm gonna get my trusty timer going for 30 minutes. Let's start with some heels, right and left. Toes are lifting up, activating the front of the lower legs. Once you got those feet, pump out the arms, pump. Opposite arms, warming up that body, getting the blood flowing, breath increasing, heart pumping a little more. Make sure you can always talk and that you're moving with control. It's okay if you're not moving at my speed. Four more. Again, that toe pulling up to the knee. Hands on your hips. Now start lifting your knees. Lift, lift. It doesn't need to be high. Lift. We're gonna push down. Think of your belly, front belly, igniting it. Exhaling, pushing down as your knee comes up. Four more. March it out. Take it wide. Come into your strong legs. Bend down, we're nice and tall. Let's reach front, front. Legs are gonna stay still. Reach with that upper body. Shoulders are starting to move a little side to side. Let's come across our midline. Reaching. Feeling the obliques that wrap around your midsection, firing up. Four, three, two. Stay right here. Shoulder rolls. Again, hands up. Little swamp. Down. Squeeze up. Knees are hanging out with your toes. Feet are grounded. Torso tall. Maybe your hands are on your thighs or on your support. Four more. We're only coming down where it feels good for those knees. Two more. One more. Now stay up. Knees are soft. Open your chest. Reach forward. Open that chest. Reach forward. One more time. Open, expand. Reach forward. Walk the feet in. Shake it out. Take a big breath into the belly. Exhale. Left, right heel. Toes up. Picking up those legs. Adding in some arms, pumping them out. Who's already feeling a little better? Sometimes just a minute of movement is all we need to raise that vibration, start feeling a little more positive and feeling better in our bodies.
Four more heels. Take your hands on your hips. Stay tall. Lift your knees. Lift. Remember, it could be a really small lift. Or if you're keeping upright, feeling good, take them up higher as you get warm. Push down. Thinking about activating your belly right here. Pushing down. Like you're pressing through something. Eight more. March it out. Take it wide, find that sumo stance. Knees of the toes planted, get strong the legs. Let's reach. Front, front. Feeling the shoulder girdle, loosening up to that area. Right by, upper ribs through the shoulders. Getting a little mobility in there. Now let's start twisting a little across midline. Reaching to the opposite corner. The reach could be small or big. Feeling those obliques firing up, wrapping around that torso. Four more. Relax, hands up, strong legs. Let's do those sumo squats. Feet are planted, down. Squeeze the inner thighs and your bottom on the way up. Again, if you're getting warm, you want to go a little lower, do it. Your chest is framed between your hands. So we're doing a hip hinge, right? But we're keeping length in that spine. Chest is up. Two more. Squeezing that tush at the very top. One more. Now hold it, open up that chest. Reach forward, open up right between the shoulder blades. Up, open. Reach it forward, opening up the shoulder blades. One more time, open. Reach, step it in, shake it out, take that big breath into the belly. Exhale, roll the shoulders. Grab a drink of water. We're ready to rock and roll. Exercise one. Grab your towel. Hold it about shoulder width apart. Knees are soft. We're gonna lift up to the chest. Hold to the chest. Bring it up and then control down. The entire time, you're pulling the towel apart with both hands. What do you feel? Can anyone feel their arms? Their upper back? Now here's the real question. Can you feel your belly? Especially right there. Squeezing. We're gripping that towel. We're not over gripping. Gripping constantly, but not over gripping. One more, please, like this. Nice. Put your towel down. We're going to go side steps. Step together. Having that clear pathway. Getting in this lateral motion, reach, pull those arms. It should feel good to loosen them out. A few more, we're gonna slow this down. Now remember, you can always be behind the chair or to the side. Now think about a step squat, lower body. Here we go. Step, squat, and in. Step, squat, and in, round your foot. I come out, lower, up, and in. Strong, lower body. In that sumo stance. Where are your knees? 
Hanging out with those two big toes, right? Let's do eight more rounds. Step, sit, and in. Nice. Two rounds of all of these exercises. Maybe you do a couple, take a break, and you come back and join us. All movement is good movement. Last two singles. One more. Shake it out. Round two. Towel. Feet shoulder width apart. Knees bent. Belly tight. Right when you pull that towel apart, can you feel the front belly? I hope so. Here we go. Lift it up. Pull. Up. Lower it down with control. Keep your breath. Nice and fluid. You're actively pulling that towel apart. Up. Pull to the chest. Raise. Lower down. Up. Pull to the chest. Ooh, feel every part of this motion. Let's do a few more. Up. Pull. Forward. And down. Feeling the arms, the shoulders, the belly, the upper back. So many things. Two more. Like you're moving through. Batteries, if you don't like the towel, just do this without the towel. Place it down. Shake it out. Step to the side. Add in your arms. Reach and pull if you're comfortable. You can just do those arms too, right? All movement, good movement. Ah, this is feeling good. Those arms were doing a lot of work. Two more. Get ready to slow it down. Step, squat. Step, squat. Together. I know, brain fitness too, right? Stay tall. Step, squat. So you're looking towards me, keeping that chest up with a little hip hinge. Right there, looking towards me. Step. Feel that plant. Plant. Can you feel yourself? Push up through those two feet. Strong legs. Your knees are feeling good. Can you get a little lower? Four more singles. Last two. Shake it out. If you need water, grab it. We're gonna move on. We're gonna do a new exercise with the towel. Grabbing that towel. Now, if you want support, do not use the towel, okay? Just use your body. We're gonna hold the towel and we're gonna make half of a rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow. So I'm actively pulling the towel apart. Now this rainbow could be small. Keep going. You're gonna feel it right here in that side body. Half the rainbow, half the rainbow. Nice. Squeeze. Can you keep that breath? Four. Three. Two. One. Now hold. Relax it down. Here's where you may want that balance. Nice and tall. Let's take that leg to the side for three pulses. Three. Two. One. And down. Three. Two. One. Three, two, maybe it's a tap. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Maybe you're balancing. Three, two, one. Small. You are upright. You feel like you're leaning to the side. Make your motion smaller. Is it kicking in? Gluteus medius? Two more. 
three, two, one. Three, two, one. Relax, shake. Ah, you knew we had to get a little shake in there, right? We got one more part to the series. Holding the towel or maybe holding your chair for balance. Towel is optional. Let's start with the towel where the elbows are bent right here and we're holding it. Feet shoulder width, calf raises. Squeeze down. Again, if you need that balance, please lose the towel or just do this towel part in a second. Up, down, pull the towel apart. Pull it apart and down. So we've got a calf raise and a bicep curl with the towel. I feel a little differently though. Lots of balance here. Squeeze, down. Squeeze, down. See my balance? <laughs> we all fall out a little bit. That's how we get stronger. Now relax your feet, just the arms. Lift. Lift, pulling the towel apart. Remember, we could pick any part of that. Maybe some calf raises, then adding in this towel. Relax, put it down. Shake it out. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. A little hinge, maybe a little support, tap it, back. Let's move those sides. Reach it forward in opposition if that feels good. Shake everything out. Remember that glute is guiding you right here. Two more. Relax, march. We ready for round two? Grab the towel, same side, half a rainbow. Knees are soft, holding the towel a little apart, pulling it apart, here we go. Half the rainbow. Shh. Exhale. Exhale. And then we don't like this towel? Get rid of it. Just take your hands. Do it with your hands. Nice fluid breath. Four more. Two more. Lose the towel. Shake it out. This time it's going to be a little different. Side leg. Up and hold. Up, hold, slow down. Up, hold, slow down. Up, hold, slow down. Up, hold, slow down. Up, hold, nice. Lift, hold, four more. Four. Remember the tap. Two more. Last one, hold it in the middle. Hold, three, breathe, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay, we've got those calf raises. You're feeling pretty balanced. Hold your towel up. I'm gonna start with my balance aid right here to the side. Calf raises, up, down, squeeze. Now maybe we're taking the arms, Without the towel, up and down. Maybe you're gonna add it in. Pulling the towel apart. Staying tall. Any case is okay. And this one, when we go a little slower, a little more deliberate, it's gonna challenge our balance a little more. Keep picking your choice. Four more. Squeeze. Three. Two, and one, nice. Everybody grab the towel. Now we're gonna pull it apart, up, down. Feeling those arms, your chest is up. Upper arms, locked in your sides. Again, we're holding confidently, but not over gripping. Keeping that breath nice and fluid. Four more, you've got it. Four, three. Ah, relax, shake it out. Tap it back. 
adding the arm, reaching it if you want it. Oh, it should feel good to move right here. Remember that little hinge forward? How are we doing? Cruising through Wednesday, right? Two more. Shake it out. Woo. Okay, I'm grabbing a drink of water. I'm gonna move my chair around to the opposite side. Keep moving. Yes, we've gotta get that other side. Cheers. Okay. Shake it out. Oh, I got a little something in my throat. I got allergies. Anyone else have allergies? It's all those pollen, the yellow things outside. Okay. Grab that towel. Nice and tall. We got to get the other side. Pull it apart, half of a rainbow. Down. Breathe. Chest to hip. I've been taking lots of walks lately. <laughs> and I can tell allergy season is upon us. Lots of things blooming. I love when the cactuses bloom here in Arizona. So pretty. Shh. Come on, keep going. Feeling it right here, right? Pull it apart. Actively resist yourself. One more. And relax, put the towel down. Let's get that side leg. We're tall, inside leg is grounded. Three pulses. Three, two, one. It's nice and tight. Three, two, one. Straight up, right? Of course. Are you getting a little sweaty? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Woo. Maybe tapping, trying those fingers on that chair. And again, we feel both sides on this one, right? Both sides. Last one. Three, two, one, and release. Shake it out. We're gonna do a little different one with the towel this time. Grab the towel. Find some clear space where you can move. Now we're gonna hold it right here in front of the belly button. Feet are grounded. And we're just gonna go side to side. Again, feeling our midsection. All those muscles wrapping in. So we're pulling it apart. Hips and legs are grounded. Nice, pulling that towel apart. I know the towel is a fan favorite. We like this towel, right? Four more, four. And relax, shake it out. Place the towel down, take left foot forward, tap that toe, tap. Let's get the front this time, the shins. Toe taps, you can go slower. Right there, or faster. Now if you want, with this toe tap, whatever pace you're at, we're gonna add the drums. Nice. Four more, you can just have one drum, right? Hold that chair, so many options. Relax, switch. Other toe forward, taps, taps. Activating the front of the lower leg. So good for our gait. To help prevent shuffle stepping. Lift. Nice. Maybe going a little faster. Playing the drums. Pushing it down, firing up the front of the lower leg. Now you're gonna notice when I'm standing, I put one foot forward for a little extra balance here. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, side step, right here. 
hamstring curls. Loosen out those legs. We got another round of pandas. Let's take those elbows out and in. A little faster. Out, in. You can fit if you like. Or keep those hands on the hips. Feel the front of that leg opening up. Are we ready for another round? Of course we are. Easy march. Whew. Grab your towel. Half of the rainbow. Arms and that side body. Here we go. You're noticing my breath. You just breathe. It does help if you can exhale right here. That forceful exhale helps us to activate our midsection a little more. And this one's good because you are resisting yourself, no one else. Come on, four more. Four, three, two, one. Put the towel down. Okay, we've got our abduction, our leg to the side with the hold. We are tall, inside foot grounded. Here we go. Lift, hold, slow down. Lift, hold, slow down. Foot is flexed. We are tall. Everything is working to stabilize, to keep you steady and strong. Up, pull, down. Up, pull, down. Looking good. Four more. You got it. Up, pull, slow down. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to make it in the middle, in the middle. Balance, breathe. Four. Maybe fingertips. Maybe touching up and down. What's that next level if you are ready for it? And shake it out. Okay, we're going to go into our rotation. So we got the towel. We're going to find some clear space. Bend the knees. Strong in the legs. Side to side. Keep going. I'm just going to come a little closer. Nice and tall. Hips are not moving here. This rotation is from the rib cage. You can go really slow, right? Or you can go a little faster. You can bring the towel closer in or further out. Where does it feel good? A few more. Keep going. Can you feel it? How about the belly button? I'm hoping you are feeling it right by that belly button. You are almost done. Four, three, two, and last one. Put it down. Shake it out. We got toe taps. Take one before. It doesn't matter which one. Lift. Slow or fast. You can do the seated too, right? Play the drums. Or one drum. Firing up the front of that lower leg. Keeping so many things strong. Four. Three. Two. Release. Switch it out. Other foot is forward. Tap it out. Lift. Are you doing this when you're watching TV yet? I really hope so. At some point, if you've been taking class for a while, my voice gets in your head. At least that's what I've been told by my students. Hey, if my voice is in there encouraging a little extra healthy movement, I'm good with that. Four more, keep tapping. Four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Ah, oh, we gotta start cooling it down, but we got one more step right here. Now we're gonna do this a little smaller. Lift. Just let that body shake out right here. It's a really good time to grab a drink of water. Just let that body just shake out a little smaller. 30 minutes of body weight exercises. And if you notice, we alternate. 
So there's not a lot of breaks. It's very efficient. Keep going. Maybe you want to dance right now. And relax. Easy march or dance. Grab some water. I'm just going to take the music down and we're going to stretch everything out. So important to open after we've gotten strong. Grab that water. So good. Every time you do a healthy habit, like drink water, take class, what do you say to yourself? Tell, give yourself a mental high five. We've got to be our own cheerleaders. I say that a lot, but you know what? Encourage yourself. Like, hey, I just had broccoli. I just ate my vegetables. I just drank my water. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of take things down. So shake it out. Let's do two deep breaths into the belly. Big breath in. Exhale. Again, another big breath in, reaching up to where it's good for our shoulders. And then exhale down. One at a time, shoulder rolls up and back. This is where you're giving yourself a pat on the back, right? Two more. And release down, shake it out. Let's go ahead and find that beach ball. So we're just opening, expanding the chest. You know, that, that beach ball right between our back right there. Looking ahead, calming things down, and release down. Take one foot back for our calf stretch. So the entire foot is in contact with the floor. Now if I come in, it's going to be a little less sensation. If I go out, I'm going to get a little more. And if you have that space, that countertop, whatever your support is, you can lean into it just a bit. You want to feel that opening all through the back of the lower leg. Remember the calf muscles are a very commonly tight area on a lot of people. Just keep that breath nice and fluid. Again, what's going on upstairs? Are you telling yourself good job? Step in, switch. Other leg, getting that calf stretch. Holding. Mid-week. Think about how you feel when you're done with these exercise sessions. I always say that I think the hardest part many, many days is just press and play, right? Just saying, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this. And release. Now option one right here is we can just reach forward. If you do have a support, go ahead and walk yourself back. Soften your knees, find just that nice stretch through the back area. Belly's in, knees are soft, head is above your heart, keeping that fluid breath. That should feel pretty nice right here. Two more breaths. And walk yourself in. Stand tall, take either leg, step it back. Push the hip forward. Now we're going to stay in this position. We're just going to do some circles with the arm. Just circle. And this could be real small. This could be big, just nice and fluid. Circling, opening up that chest. And release down. We're going to go ahead and switch. If you want that support, just Turn to the side, I'm gonna step away just a little bit. Hit this forward and maybe we stay right here. Just get that hip flexor. Hand in the pocket. Maybe it feels good, we're gonna open a little bit. Circle up and back. Any little mobility through that shoulder joint. One more. And release, step in. Palms to the ground, press down. Ear to shoulder, hold. 
Come up center, ear to opposite shoulder. Doesn't this just feel so good? Need some mobility exercises. Come up, chin to chest. You can do these too during commercials, right? Loosen up the neck, open up your chest. And release. Let's circle out our wrists. Opposite direction. Open and close the fingers. We'll take one more deep breath into the belly. Big breath in. Big exhale. You did it. Wednesday body weight exercises. So hopefully you will join us tomorrow, Thursday, for our balance and flexibility. And then we've got Fun Pants Friday. Technically it's the Friday mixer, but I don't know. I might rename it from time to time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Again, think about how you feel right now. Be your own cheerleader. Till tomorrow. Penny from the Silver and Fit program.